I'm so tired. <laughs> my channel you hear my voice I am back from EDC and I am so tired <laughs> EDC was a lot this year I I don't even know what just happened honestly so today I wanted to get this video to you guys as fast as possible excuse me for my voice my voice is like hurting my feet hurt my body hurts everything hurt but I had such an amazing time under the electric sky here is my official 2018 EDC review. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Follow all my social medias at vibe with aid. So let's get right to it. EDC was fun. I had a really good time, I will admit. I think it was a really well put together festival. I think me, myself, I'm just not equipped to last that long for a festival anymore. I was really tired. I was really in pain a lot. I wore those holographic boots day one and they I had broken them in the weekend before and I was doing fine. And then I don't know what happened, but day one my feet were just dying so bad I got really bad blisters on my pinky toes and so luckily I brought these black Nikes that I wore to EDC last year And I wore those with my custom insoles and yeah, my feet were just still hurting like all weekend So I had to take a lot of breaks and sit the music was incredible every artist I saw I was not Disappointed with at all day one was a little hard just because the artists that I did see I did kind of get like okay like I saw them I'm, I want to go see what else is going on I think I just really wanted to wander day one and so I did a lot of wandering um saw a little really good artists but like there was like a conflict with like virtual self cascade hot sense 82 hero but alpha nine there's like a, that huge conflict on Friday I saw the beginning of virtual self he he played ghost voices and then I was like okay I'm gonna go wander then I went and I saw alpha nine on the way to cascade and cascade played like my favorite song so it was just like perfect timing of you can't stop and then then went to hero bus and ended there so day one I didn't really have like a favorite set I would say it was more like these moments that happened because I did see Chris like back-to-back -back Chris Lorenzo I saw that full set love that set and then the other full set that I saw that day was pendulum and pendulum put on a really good set it was just I was on my feet I was sitting the whole time just because my feet were killing me but all in all that was like really good set but those are the only two sets I saw the full time otherwise I was just bouncing around like I saw a little bit of Claude Vincent stroke griffin griffin played feel good like that put me in my feels and like and then day two i actually planted myself a little bit more and saw some full sets i started at kinetic field and i saw moxie chris lake and jaw that was three hours of just like house music and wubs and everything was just amazing and i loved every second of it and then after that we saw the end of OK Live, which OK brought out Kenny G to play the saxophone for Thief. And like, if you know me, Thief is one of my favorite songs of all time. Anytime anyone drops it at a festival, I freak out. But he brought out Kenny G with the saxophone and I was like, this is it. This is the peak of my life. Like, oh my God, that's so incredible. I was like freaking out and like everyone in the crowd was freaking out because it's like Kenny G like playing the saxophone to the well, and then Holly was awesome Millennium right after that I loved Millennium and then after that was Zed's Dead and Zed's Dead was probably one of my favorite sets of the entire weekend I will say you never know what you're gonna get with a Zed's Dead set I don't know that's just like me personally that was my third time seeing them and each time I that I've seen them, I saw in Phoenix Lights 2017, Something Wicked 2017, and then now um, at EDC. And each time it's just been something different and they bring something new to the table every single time. Away from that set being like, whoa. We went to Excision Detox set. I was really intrigued by this set just because I read on Twitter what Excision had said about his detox set, like what that means. And it's basically just a chance for him to play other music than his own and play other genres and just have fun with it kind of thing, which I thought was really cool because it's so hard when you're like such a big name like Excision and a lot of other artists are doing this where they want to be able to like play other stuff and have fun with it, but they don't want their fans to like get, like, I guess, judgy or be like, well, I don't like that set because I'm not hardcore, that's not. whatever, you know? 
like people get like that i really enjoy the de detox set it's really like another side you got to see from excision that you don't normally get to see besides like the massive head banging and everything i got lost in the neon garden with green velvet i was in a trance in there my friend devin he like was like okay i'll be right back gonna go get some food and then he ended up leaving and then he never came back <laughs> so i was just in the neon garden by myself but i wasn't like alone like i was hanging out with people i met a lot of people i had the totem with me so people kept on saying hi to me. but there's something about that techno music in the neon garden that makes you want to stay there like it is something i've never experienced before that but i just like like oh my god this is so good and i just like kind of forgot what time it was where i was like i was like this is so good and then you start seeing like the sky kind of like start to turn like as the sun's starting to rise I'm like am i supposed to be anywhere where are my friends where am i supposed to go and then i ended up closing out day two at cheat codes like, all the way till the end till sunrise that that was really good and then day three started with elefante elefante was good and then went into borges i went and caught a little bit of shiba song i wish i could have stayed there for the full set but it went into don diablo's time i went to don diablo and i was like so happy so content oh that was such a good set i went and saw the beginning of gammer and then i saw rez's intro and then went and saw post malone chami back to back mall and no redemption and wow that was so so good we were all grooving and shuffling and it was just it was really good to see them live i was kind of sad that they didn't get to bring their boxes with them so if you've seen them on tour they have these two boxes that have visuals on them and they stand on top of them and it's a really cool production kind of sad that they weren't able to bring that that's the one thing that happens with edc is that a lot of the time there's no other room for artists to bring their own production you're just kind of stuck with like edc's production kid through one of like the best sets of his entire life has changed and grown so much and that set was just like so well put together and it was like something that was like authentically him and then finally i ended at chris lake back to back fisher which was the most amazing thing of my entire life it was the last set of edc so the sun was rising i'll groove into some house music i was so happy the cons phone service was awful this year like i think this is what happens when an edc is sold out i couldn't text anyone another con there's so many people a sold out edc honestly was just like way too much for me <laughs> i really want a motion to end the trains of people like you can't even get through the crowd because people are just holding on to each other and it's like our group doesn't do that we just like look we just look at the person ahead of us we look for the totem and we just walk in a straight line but when you make these chains of people you're like it's hard to get through the crowd like my friend Devin and i just trying to go from cosmic meadows across to base pod and we couldn't even get through because people were like had these massive long trains going from kinetic field to circuit grounds and it was so annoying we just wanted to like red rover through them all and there are just lines everywhere like, i don't know the lines just like were really annoying to wait in getting into the crowd is hard because people aren't nice people really weren't nice this year about letting you through the crowd and i was just like i'm by myself like i'm not gonna block your view i'm just trying to get to my friends at that totem right there like that was just something that i was really bothered by it's just like really hard to get through the crowd kind of a pro kind of a con i liked some of the new stage designs and then didn't like some of the stage design the only stage that didn't get a redo was cosmic meadows i liked kinetic field the new design was pretty cool it kind of weirded me out at times with like the woman and the man naked holding a heart it kind of, I don't know, it just kind of made me a little comfortable for some reason. It also just felt really small. I don't know if that was just me, but last year felt way, it felt way grander and way bigger. This one just felt really small. I don't like the new base pod. I don't miss the old base pod. Wasteland got bigger, like expanded it more, which I guess is cool for those people that love that music. Circuit Grounds, I will always love, like that stage i'm really glad that they kept like the visual all around you going on because like that's what i loved about circuit grounds neon garden oh i missed the old neon garden it was like i don't know it was just like this enclosement kind of thing and then in the middle like before it had a disco ball and it was like so groovy in there but like it had this weird prism thing these poles coming up and then it was just holding this like crystal prism black thing cosmic meadows didn't change so cosmic meadows was good upside down house became now sonic bloom and i actually really liked it a lot more because you got more visual capabilities with it where and lights with it whereas upside down house it was just like a house that was like lit up 
and had the DJ. All the art cards stayed the same. I was a little frustrated finding the art cards because on this map that you have on your phone, you didn't have them. Like you could you couldn't tell which art car was which. It just had the pictures of the art car. Didn't have the names of which one was which. Because I did meet some really awesome people. Like a lot of really cool people did come up to me and say hi to me, whether they were from Arizona or whether they know me from Vibe with Aid. And so I really did meet a lot of cool people. I got a lot of awesome candy. Hi, if you came up to me at EDC, I forgot to mention this. Thank you so much. Literally meant so much to me that you guys follow my blog. Okay, bye. Vibes did not disappoint for the most part. Other pros, like I didn't see a set that I didn't like. Every artist I think brought it. The music was really good. I really enjoyed it, really had a good time. Other pro, driving was the move for me. I don't know how other people's shuttles experiences were or Uber's experience or whatever, but driving was such a move for me. I was so content <laughs> because we, it only took us maybe an hour. Like we would leave our Airbnb and it would get us an hour to like till we were in and we saw who we wanted to see. And then getting home by at least like 7 a.m. and getting straight to bed was like so nice for once and getting way more sleep um, because we needed it. So that was really convenient. The Airbnb was really a good move too. We loved our Airbnb hosts. They were so sweet, so awesome. I only paid 200 for the entire weekend. All in all, um, top sets, my favorite sets for the whole weekend, all of Chris Lake's sets, without a doubt, he killed it. He won EDC if you ask. No Redemption, Cade is really good. Zed's dead, like... Mm, I will never forget about that set. That set was like one of my all-time favorites probably. And then of course Don Diablo, Akali, and Jaws were also my favorites. I really can't narrow it down. It's really hard to narrow it down. All in all, I really don't know if I'll be back for EDC 2019. I say this right now, but we'll laugh next year when I'm at EDC 2019. But right now I'm just like really tired. I had a lot of fun, um, but my feet were hurting really bad a lot. How packed it was, was like kind of not enjoyable. Yeah, last year wasn't sold out, but this year was sold out and you could like t really tell a difference. So we'll see if I'll be back for EDC 2019, but until then, my next festival will be Electric Forest Weekend 2. If you're going, please let me know. Let's meet up. Let's hang out. This will be my first forest, so I'm really looking forward to it, and I'm super excited. Up next on this channel, I will be posting day-by-day -day vlog of, like, so you'll get to see actual footage of all the sets I saw, what I did at EDC, things like that, and so be on the lookout for that. Be sure to hit that subscribe button to vibe with me. Let me know in the comments who your favorite sets were, if you were there, missed anything, how your time at EDC was. Also, follow my social medias at vibe with a. Bye, guys.